straighten up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Do not be terrified, for these things must first take place, but the end will not be at once. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, and in various places famines and pestilences. And there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. Breaking news out of New York, a building explosion. This is... We are not seeking his face. We are in no position to receive his blessings. In the United States, we're getting letters now from pastors' wives who said, I've been trying to find out why my husband has changed. He doesn't love me anymore. He's empty in the pulpit. He has no anointing. What's happened to him? And they find out. They open the door and they see their husbands watching filthy pornography. I don't want my eyes polluted. I don't want to be a part of this. I don't care who doesn't pray, I'm going to pray. I don't care who doesn't read the Bible, I'm going to read my Bible. I want nothing to do with it. And I cry, oh God, where are the voices? Where are the people? The cry out against them, where are the praying people? And I say, God, whatever it takes, whatever it takes, keep me on my knees. And I was in anguish. I was in anguish four blocks from here on Broadway, weeping and crying and wailing. I wasn't looking for a ministry. I wasn't looking to build a church. I was feeling God's pain for a lost city. He's going to show you the condition of his church. He's going to show you the conviction to your own heart, and he's going to ask you a question. What is it to you? How can you tell me that you love him and you're ready to go and you neglect him day after day after day? Don't tell me you're going. You're not going. You're going to be left behind. God's promised if you will wage war against every sin, every desire that's contrary to Christ, I'll be with you, I'll go before you. But folks, the man who really wins the battle, the man who's ready to face anything that the devil throws out of hell, is the man or woman that's been studying God when there's no crisis, when everything is well, when there seems to be blessing and prosperity. That man is diligent before God and seeks his face. A praying man is as bold as a lion. There's no demon, there's no devil in hell that'll scare him. What God desires more than anything, and I think what blesses the heart of God in heaven, is that those in their good times when all is well, they're not parked in front of a television set watching some filth. They're not foolishly laughing at some program. They are taking special loving time alone with God. They're praying for their families, building up faith for the hour of tribulation. They're seeking the face of God. And your family is in trouble if you're not a praying man. No amount of preaching, no amount of teaching, no amount of counseling, nothing going to get through to you, nothing going to do the job until you yourself get on your face before God and lay hold of heaven. Keep us on our face. God, keep me broken. God, keep this church broken. God, don't let us sit back on a crest of blessing and get lazy and see disorder come again to this house. We don't just want crowds. We want your glory in this house, oh God. We want your glory in your power. I tremble at your word. Let us tremble this morning that it's possible for godly men and godly women who once prayed, who once had such an anointing to finally lose it this day of temptation when all hell is breaking loose God help us determine I will seek God I will seek God with all my heart and all my soul and all my strength and all that's in me that we must not forget never forget God's grief against sin in his house in our own lives 
will preach grace, we will preach mercy. But folks, I want you to know something. God says the day of grace is about to end. The day of grace is coming to an end. Beloved, the Lord loves his church. He loves his people with an undying love. But we are so bent on going our own way. We're so bent on drifting. We're so bent on, on, on giving up that burden of the Lord. That's why God has to keep building a fire under us. I know he has to do that in me. He has to do that in me every, every day. He has to keep stirring my heart. God says, I'm moving. I'm going to do what I promised to do in the last days. Hallelujah. Through the pouring out of the Holy Ghost. God is going to sanctify his church. He's going to sanctify his pulpit. Folks, God has a plan he's working on. You can't see it. I'll tell you, if you knew what God had in store for you, if you seek him, you'd be so rejoicing you couldn't contain yourself right now. But that's not going to happen if I don't seek him. I can abort that whole plan and end up in disaster and ruin. Right now, you set your heart. Here's your prophetic word from heaven. If you seek me, you'll find me. I can't help believing in closing that there's going to be a victory march in glory. I'm so glad I'm saved. <clears throat> I love you, Jesus. Stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand before the Son of Man.